good. John Frost, how are you going? I'm good. How did Dr. Zhivago go? Terrific. We closed uh, this week in um, Brisbane, and that's been fantastic. And investors getting their money back, which is even better, and uh, we head off to Korea soon with a Korean cast, so it's all being translated into Korean. So our production goes over there and our creative team goes over there to put the Korean version together. That's next on in line. And then of course after that we've got Annie goes into rehearsal and then Wicked goes into rehearsal again for Singapore and uh, Korea. And that's all before Christmas. And then we do this one, Officer and a Gentleman. Then we do, I'm involved with South Pacific with Opera Australia. So that happens and, and then I'm doing Legally Blonde. So next year my feet aren't going to touch the ground. So you're pretty bored, nothing much to do? No, life's dreary, isn't it? Yeah, so what are you doing on a naval vessel today? Well, we've had the big launch today for Officer and a Gentleman and, and the Australian Navy kindly let us have HMS Sydney um, and we invited the Premier up and his Arts Minister George Soros and they announced the uh, world premiere of, of uh, Officer and a Gentleman, the musical, to open here in Sydney in May. How does GFO get all the big shows? Is it just that you're the best and you make them big? Has, is, it, is that what's happening? No, I think, I think everybody has... Uh, no, we're very good at what we do. I think we are very good at what we do. And that uh, we are... It's our turn now, I suppose. And everybody gets a turn, and I think it's sort of our turn. And it's uh, corporately, you know, the challenge is always, particularly in this business, is staying up there on top and doing shows that return the money to the investors. So the investors roll their money over to the next project. So when you look at the list of shows that I produce, they're very eclectic at times. You know, you could get a tried and true uh, show like Annie which stars Anthony Warlow, Nancy Hayes and Alan Jones. has a really good feel and it's selling through the roof, which I'm very excited about. Uh, people might say, why Annie? Why well, you don't want to see Annie again? Well, Annie goes along to help pay the bills for something that is probably a little bit more dangerous that one produces. So uh, it's a fine balance there. I noticed the tickets go on sale in October, but the show comes out for Officer and a Gentleman in May. That's uh, very advanced. Yeah, well, sales. I mean, yeah, that's right. So uh, my feeling is that, you, you know, people are always slow on the uptake, you know, to buy tickets. And all of a sudden they say, oh, I've got to get a ticket for that, got to get a ticket for that, and then it's over and you never get to see it. So that's why we always go out a long way in advance um, to make that happen. So people have a long time to purchase. Wow, so um, what else do you do? What else do I do? You, you just oh. go to theatre all the time? I mean... Oh, I never go to theatre. I couldn't think <laughs> of anything worse to sit in a dark room watching people up there with makeup and silly costumes. No, no, no. Um, no, I do go to theatre, you know, <laughs> but it's not my life, you know. Uh, so I do a lot, an enormous amount of travelling uh, around the country because I have shows playing everywhere and all of that. And I uh, today, I'll give you a perfect day. Today is an easy day for me. I leave here go to the lawyers to try and settle all the legals on uh, Officer and a Gentleman, uh, and then uh, with my co-producer, and then I will go back down to the office and then we'll do a script for three hours, I think we're doing a script conference on Officer and a Gentleman, and then tonight I'll do a phone call with London about um, Legally Blonde with Howard Pant, my co-producer, and then probably about 10 o'clock tonight we will hook, I'll take a call, around about 10 or 11 tonight, I'll call with New York. Uh, with Ted Chapin from Rogers and Hammerstone, so it's uh, it keeps going. So I don't, I'm not one of those people that says goes home and turns the computer off or the BlackBerry off or the phone off. You know, it's it's on all the time. And a lot of uh, cruise ships and girls in bikinis and cocktails and no. red carpets. No, yeah, all that, hello, darlings. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. Right, thank you very much again. Thank you.